Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time, and it is time for a very important announcement that I have to make. But before that, guys, I wanted to tell you a story. No, not not quite that kind of story. I wanted to tell you a story about my YouTube channel, okay? So just over two years ago, I released my first video ever on YouTube on August 12th, 2016. It was so bad that I've actually removed it from YouTube. I didn't even know how to say my own name correctly. <laughs> Hello fellow Clashers, this is Kairos time. It's Kairos time. <laughs> I started out with zero equipment and zero experience. I borrowed my friend's mic, I didn't have a camera, and my sister, who's a graphic designer, created my original logo and branding. But my self-made thumbnails really were just awful. Honestly though guys, I really did not care. I was a Clash Royale addict, and the more I created videos, the more I became a YouTube addict. And on December 18th of 2016, I was able to release my face reveal. Believe me, now that I had a webcam, the cringe was only gonna get worse. The Spagelatins! <laughs> the Spagelatins! The Spagelatins. Spagelatins. Yes, I am the beautiful bandit. She's a knife witch. Yeah! I, I really like acapella, guys. <laughs> Clash Royale was a ton of fun to cover, and there were some really great moments, like the time I was invited to the Crown Championship Global Series as a special guest. Welcome Welcome to the set of the CCGS for the fall season. Or like the time Clash Royale shared one of my videos in-game and it became the most viewed video on my channel within an hour. Eventually, Brawl Stars was announced and I fell so hard for that game. Like, I had Brawl Fever bad. <laughs> At the time, I didn't own an iPad and it was only available on iOS for beta testing, so I borrowed a friend's iPad. But after a month of playing, I had to return his iPad, which was so sad to me because I love the game so much. But I figured, you know, the beta had to end soon so I would be able to play on my Android device. Brawl Stars is going global! Boy, was I sure wrong. Four months after Brawl Stars was announced, I could not take it any longer. I needed Brawl in my life again. So. I decided to buy an iPad, which is something that I never thought I would ever do. Then I released my first ever Brawl Stars video without practicing the game for three months in Brawl Ball, which is a game mode I had never played before because it was released after I returned my friend's iPad. But I finally figured out Brawl Ball. Are you kidding me? Man. And he got a goal right off the bat. Ah. Oh. Why can I not do this? Ah! <laughs> oh, why? That is literally the worst losing streak I have ever been on any game ever. Over the past year though, I have had a blast creating Brawl Stars content that has ranged everywhere from stuffing my face full of marshmallows until I got Spike. Mm -hmm. mm. Making bear noises. Rah! 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 Ah! Collaborating with Lex on countless hilarious videos like You Laugh You Lose. What do you call a deer with no eyes? I don't know. No idea. And making tier lists and guides for less experienced players like Noob Time. <laughs> uh, dude, are, are you crying? What? What? No, no! I'm a Brawl Stars master, man! What you talking about? Well, I was gonna give you, like, a foolproof guide on how to push trophies in Brawl Stars as soon as possible, but I mean, like, if that's a jam, you probably don't really want that, right? Wait! Kairos, I, I need your tips, man. I was even on the news once. Yes, Michael, who's known by his nearly 34,000 subscribers as Cairo Time. It's Kairos! With an S! I think that the strangest part has been learning that I have alternate personalities like the Brawl News guy and Stewie McBeaker. He hello, my name is Stewie McBeaker and I'm from Brawl News. Jerry replaced me with Stewie? <laughs> oh yes, and let's not forget all of the singing. I will survive. I will survive. I will survive. I am just so thankful that Brawl Stars won't die. Bum, ba da dum, 
Wait, wasn't that today's video? Oh yeah, that, that brings me to right now, guys. The last two and a half years of creating video content has been absolutely nuts. And if somebody were to tell me where I would be in my life right now, back before I started my channel, I seriously don't even think I would believe them. Wait, 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 what? Why is that? What's this big announcement I've been hyping up this whole time? I am going to be going full time on YouTube in order to give you guys the best Brawl Stars videos and streams I possibly can. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Seriously, though, this is kind of crazy. Okay, now before you go anywhere, let me give you guys some announcements regarding what that actually means for you, my viewers. And after I've done that, I really wanted to share my story regarding what led up to that decision because it has not been an easy decision for me to make. I am super excited about this decision, but I'm also super nervous about what this means for my ability to provide for my wife and my two daughters. I'll talk about that in a minute, but before that, I am super excited to announce the launch of my official Kairos Time merchandise, including shirts, hoodies, iPhone and Samsung cases, and even a mug. I even got two really popular Brawl Stars fan artists to create some designs for this merchandise of their own. It's Time to Brawl was created by Dream in 8-Bit, and Always Check the Bush was created by Free FGP. There's a link to my Teespring store in the description below, but to celebrate the startup of this new merch store, enter the startup promo code on checkout to get an extra 20% off of your order. This promotion will work until the last day of November 2018, so if you want to support Kairos Times channel, you make sure you do that as soon as you possibly can. Next, I wanted to announce that until further notice, I will only be live streaming on Twitch from now on. I will not do any more live streams on YouTube except for maybe like really big events. This is such a sad decision for me to make because YouTube is where all of you guys are. And you would think that it would make the most sense for me to stream on YouTube where my entire audience is, right? I've done a ton of research onto this topic, guys, and I've discovered that if I'm gonna stream on a channel where I'm also putting YouTube videos on, that can actually effectively kill the success of my YouTube videos. I love doing live streams and I love doing it on YouTube where all my viewers are, and that is incredibly rewarding, but I cannot sacrifice the success of my videos by streaming on YouTube. It really sucks, but that is the decision that I have had to make. But with that being said, I have become a Twitch affiliate and I am applying to become a Twitch partner as well. And that means that you can subscribe on Twitch for exclusive streaming perks like a sub badge and custom emotes. And I'm also going to have bits enabled as well. The link to my Twitch is in the description of all of my videos. So make sure you go there and follow so you do not miss the first live streams on Twitch. Since baby Kairos was born a couple of weeks ago, my schedule has kind of been all over the place. I promise I'll be getting back to streaming consistently here pretty soon. Also, I wanted to let you know that you can actually gain special perks for becoming a YouTube sponsor or member on my YouTube channel. Not only do you get to show off your support with a badge next to your name and all your comments on my YouTube videos, I also do my best to heart sponsor comments when I see them so that they are more likely to be seen by other viewers. On top of that, I'll even add you as a friend on Brawl Stars. And you'll have a means of direct communication to me through Discord. And I'm pretty sure it just makes you a better person by supporting my YouTube channel, so there's that as well. You can click on the join button on my channel or follow the link in my description to become a YouTube sponsor slash member. Now with that being said, if you cannot become a YouTube sponsor because it's not available in your country or device, or you really do want to go the extra mile in helping support the channel, you can become a Patreon sponsor. Patreon is a third party site that helps you support your favorite creators. By pledging a certain amount each month to support my channel, you go a long way in helping me create content. Patreon sponsors get exclusive perks that range anywhere from the same perks YouTube sponsors get, plus a ton of other possible perks like a massive shout out in a video or a free premium Kairos Time hoodie. Now I know that I just listed four ways that you can support the channel financially. And before I move on, I think it's really important that I emphasize one point. I fully expect the majority of my viewers to not be able to purchase merchandise or become a sponsor, and I completely understand that. The fact that you guys watch my videos at all is honestly a huge honor to me, and I cannot thank you enough. This is especially true for my longtime viewers that watch all of my videos. But for those of you guys that are 
are willing to help out and support my channel financially in one way or another, I want you to know that I am so incredibly thankful. Deciding to go into a career where my income is unreliable and inconsistent would really be not a big deal if I was like single and didn't have any kids, but I've got a wife and I have two children and my biggest fear in life is that I will not be able to support their needs. And that's a legitimate fear with me making this decision. So for those of you guys that are helping to make my income at least like a little bit more stable and reliable, I really cannot thank you enough. And just for the record, I wanted to let you guys know that my wife, Lady Kairos, has been so incredibly supportive of me making this decision and supporting my dream. So if you see her in a live stream chat or in the comment section of a video, you should definitely give her your thanks because I, I could not do this without her. And she really is amazing. Okay, guys, with all those announcements out there, I really wanted to talk about what has led up to this decision because I, I it's not an easy decision. And some of you guys are going to think I'm absolutely crazy. And then I think the majority of people are going to be really excited and stoked that my channel is going to be able to really grow. But let me start this off by saying, first of all, that I did not create my YouTube channel because I wanted to become a YouTuber. I was really, really good at Clash Royale and I became obsessed with the game and I created my channel because I really wanted to share my obsession with other people that loved Clash Royale. But it was funny because as I started to create videos, I started spending less time playing Clash Royale and more time focusing on creating videos and I started to fall in love with with YouTube and creating videos. I love entertaining people. Making people laugh brings me so much happiness. I also really love sharing my excitement about things that I love with other people that are excited about those same things that I love, which I have not been as excited about a game than Brawl Stars, am I right? Also, I've come to really love expressing my feelings through creative means. Additionally, I really do think it's important for me to be a positive role model for other people in the world if I have that opportunity to, as somebody that is kind to others and who uses clean language, because I think that that is something that is becoming even more and more rare these days. So not only have I like fallen in love with YouTubing, I also kind of feel like I now have a responsibility to actually continue with it. Honestly though, for like the first couple of years of me doing YouTube content, I never thought that it would legitimately turn into anything other than just like a side hobby. I mean, I would daydream about it, but I never thought that it would actually become an, a legit option. Seven months ago, everything for me changed. Seven months ago is when I was invited to go to Finland to film the Brawl Stars global launch stream. We were told that it could still be killed and they just wanted to be prepared in case they were ready to actually go for a global launch. And I went to Finland with the opinion that my channel was just a hobby, a super fun hobby that I loved to do when I didn't have more important things like uh, work or completing a, d a degree educational wise. And I went to Finland thinking that the other YouTubers that were going were somehow like untouchable or that somehow they were better than me because they were living a dream that I didn't think was actually possible. And I fully expected that Lex and I would go to Finland and we would be treated like second-rate people by the other YouTubers because in my mind they were legit and, and we weren't. I cannot tell you how completely wrong I was. It didn't take long for me to realize that Galadon, Molt, OJ, Powerbang, Clash with Ash, and everyone else that was there were just regular people living their lives in an extraordinary way. They talked to me like I was important, and they treated me like I was their equal. In some ways, they actually believed in my own dream more than I even did. I still remember two completely life-changing conversations that I had while I was there. One of them was with the first YouTuber that I had ever subscribed to, Galadon, and the other one was with one of the most inspiring men I have ever met, and that's Clash with Ash. The things that we talked about completely changed my way of thinking. They made me realize the importance of living my own life in an extraordinary way by pursuing my dreams, and even more important than that, they gave me the confidence that I could make my passion of reality as long as I was willing to put in the hard work and use a little bit of cringe. Well, hey there. I went to Finland with the idea of becoming a YouTuber as a fantasy, and I came home from Finland with it as my goal. So I knew what my goal was now, and I knew what I wanted to do, but there were still some very real problems that I had to sort out first. First of all, 
Brawl Stars wasn't global, and this was a huge problem because there was no way that I could make this dream a reality with my current potential audience size. The game at that point wasn't even out on Android. So in my mind, I had the option of either waiting out until global was released or switching to a different game or a niche that uh, had a larger audience. And I had no desire to get into another game or switch my audience. Creating videos is a ton of fun, don't get me wrong, but I am not going to create something for a game or a niche that I am not really into. So my option was to wait until the first glimpse of a global release. The second real problem that I had to sort out was financially supporting my family. During college, I worked incredibly hard to get my college degree without going into any debt. But seven months ago, I was in my first year of grad school for my doctorate and physical therapy and that was a whole other beast. In order for me to pass my classes and keep going on with my studies, there was no way that I was going to have time to work. Even if I would have been able to work, it would not have made a dent to the cost of my tuition. So now I have negative money that I have to figure out how to deal with on top of supporting my family. And no, YouTube revenue <laughs> was not going to help out very much. What you're looking at right here is my most popular Brawl Stars video, the first ever Brawl Olympics video that I created. This shows you my actual revenue for this video since the day it was released three months ago. $65. Cool, right? Well, just wait until I tell you that it took over 30 hours for me to create that video from the first recording to finishing up the title and description of that video. If you're doing the math, you're realizing that that's two dollars an hour. To put that into perspective, for those of you guys that aren't familiar with the United States wages, that is four times smaller than the national minimum wage, and it's five times smaller than the minimum wage in the state that I currently live in. Now, after speaking with more experienced YouTubers in Finland, I had learned how YouTubers actually are able to make enough money to live consistently, so I knew what I needed to do but I still needed a bigger audience before I could do any of that, which meant another hang up on a global release for Brawl Stars. <laughs> By the way, this is actually a huge reason why I set up my merchandise and other methods for people to support my channel. Once again, a very sincere thank you to those of you guys that are at least considering becoming a sponsor or purchasing some of my merchandise. Now, the last thing that was keeping me from making my dream a reality was time. Like, Kairos time, <laughs> man. <laughs> Is it just me or does that joke never get old? Now at the time, my wife and I just found out that we were pregnant with our second baby and I was in the first year of completing my doctorate for of physical therapy. I also have responsibilities for where I go to church at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and between family, church, school, and YouTube, I was being about as stretched thin as I possibly could be. At the time, I was only releasing one to three videos a week because that was all the time I could possibly afford. And I simply did not have enough time to put my full effort into my channel to the point where I could actually make it successful enough to actually have a career out of it. Even if the game were global and my videos were doing well, I could not put out enough videos consistently to actually make it supportive for my family. Even after my Finland trip, it took me a lot of time actually pondering these things and thinking about them and having countless hours of discussing things with my wife before I realized that there was no way that I could possibly fully pursue both YouTube and my doctorate at the same time. I had always told myself that I could just take my spare time and put that into YouTube and focus on school first, but my original plan and my dream of becoming a YouTuber were just two big things that were so big that there's no way I could put my full efforts into both of them. I knew that when Brawl Stars did go global, or even if it did, there was no way I could put enough time into my channel to actually make it a successful YouTube career. And after my Finland trip, when YouTube became my goal, I started to lose my desire of actually becoming a physical therapist. And I wouldn't even say that physical therapy was ever like my dream job or anything like that. It was like, hey, yeah, that makes sense. I like those kinds of things. I think I would do good at it. It would be able to financially support my family. So I kind of like made that my goal, but it, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a dream career for me. So I knew that once I thought that I could afford to actually like make my YouTube channel successful, I had to drop something in order to make time for my channel. And the two things that I will never cut out of my life are family and religion, as those are core aspects of my own life that have defined who I am. And that meant 
dropping school in order for me to make YouTube work out. But even that depended on a global release because even though we had filmed the Brawl Stars launch stream, there was still a good chance that Brawl Stars was going to be killed. Then I would just have two failed goals on my hands, which <laughs> that's not a great situation at all. <laughs> so at that time, I was kind of putting half effort into YouTube and half effort into school, and I was doing okay at first, but I wasn't really very happy. I'm typically a very, very happy person. Like if you meet me in person, it's almost, I'm almost annoyingly happy. But if there has ever been a time in my life where I could say that I've been depressed, I think that that time would have been it. I would go to school every day hating myself for being there when what I really wanted to be doing was working on my next YouTube video. But then when I'd get home after a long day of studying very hard material, I was way too hired, tired to even work on the very thing I had been daydreaming about all day long. I think that the hardest part of this was that I wanted to succeed in both YouTube and school so much that I started to stay up late after studying to work on my YouTube channel, only to wake up again early the next morning to go back to school and be de depressed throughout the day. After weeks and months of poor sleep, I started to get really bad headaches, my thoughts started to get fuzzy, and it became really hard for me to focus on all aspects of my life. I really did become unhappy to the point where where I almost crashed and I only just barely passed my finals which that's that's not like me at all I honestly think that summer break saved me <laughs> in fact summer break kind of brought me back to life all of a sudden I had time to do YouTube spend time with my family at night and get plenty of rest and eat well as well I became a normal person again and I kind of woke up from this depressed days that I had been in my life for such a long time. And it was at this time that Lex and I went to Finland for our second trip uh, for the last community roundtable and Brawl Talk. This is a trip where I actually was able to go to Supercell HQ for the first time and meet the Brawl Stars developer team. They still weren't ready to announce a global release at this point, but things looked somewhat positive that they were at least heading in that direction. And when I came back from Finland this time, I was totally rejuvenated and super hyped up about my channel like more so than I have ever been in my life and it was and I was like incredibly happy again like I normally am one week after that school started up for me again instant depression not even joking guys I still remember sitting back in the back of my class with this negative ball of emotions in the pit of my stomach on that first day as I was looking through the syllabuses for that quarter the very second that I walked into the door on my first day back home from school my wife could tell that there was something that was very wrong she really was worried about me and it was at this point that she asked me if I wanted to drop out and that seemed like such a a crazy question. All of my life up to that point had been leading to me getting my doctorate and becoming a physical therapist. And yet deep down inside, I knew that the best answer was yes. So my wife and I came up with a plan. I set things up with my school so that I could get put on a one year leave of absence from my program, meaning that I could come back to school if I wanted and continue with the class underneath me, but they would only hold my spot for a year. Additionally, my wife and I have been slowly building up savings since we first got married and we decided that we were willing to burn through some of that savings for up to six months so that I could put my full efforts into making my YouTube dream a reality. If at six months we decided that we could not make YouTube work out or it didn't look like it was going to work out or if Brawl Stars was killed, I would get a job so that we could stop burning through our savings, I would go back to school and and I would quit YouTube so that I could then put my full efforts into school and work as a physical therapist for the rest of my life. Not a bad job and not a bad career, but also not my dream. Now that decision was two months ago, guys, and I cannot tell you how incredibly happy I have been working on YouTube since then. I have been working tirelessly to create quality videos on most days of the week. I've also started streaming two to three days of a week. And on top of that, I've actually been looking into some different types of like revenue streams so that I can actually support my channel. By the way, I'm still not there yet and I'm still not even close. So my dream actually isn't still a reality. I still have to provide for my family and I will sacrifice anything to make sure that my family is taken care of, even if it means sacrificing my dream of doing YouTube. I know I've said it before, but I seriously cannot tell you how thankful I am for everybody that is willing to help support my channel, either through YouTube, Twitch, or Patreon sponsorship, or even through merchandise. Now, since making that decision, Baby Kairos has also been born, our second child, and Brawl Stars 
Going Global was announced, which seriously is probably the most perfect timing for me. I can't even believe it because I only just recently finished setting up all the foundational work for me to be able to just focus on my channel. And that guys is my story. And I cannot tell you how incredibly great it feels to finally share that with you guys. It has been a super emotional ride on my side of things, and I love that I can finally share that with you guys. I still have a lot of work to do as my deadline that my wife and I set is four months from now, and my school needs to know if I'm coming back by July 2019. But now that I know that Brawl Stars is going global, I'm very hopeful that it will work out and I will actually be able to live my dream and make it a reality. If you have made it to this part of the video, please put hashtag Kairos forever in the comment section below so that I know who you are. And of course, I am sincerely thankful for anybody that is considering becoming a sponsor on my channel. I would like to end this incredibly long video by sincerely thanking you so much. I could not do any of this without you watching my videos. I could not do any of this without your support. You are my channel and you are my dream. For now, this is Kairos time ticking by and we will see you on YouTube, hopefully forever.